Hi, everybody. Welcome back to GSX Mostly Live from Orlando, Florida. I'm your host, Chuck Carroll. My next guest, Mr. Brian Jensen, the Executive Vice President at Allied Universal. Mr. Brian, welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you, Chuck. Great to be here. I really appreciate the opportunity. I love speaking to you guys. Allied, you know, when it was Allied back in the day, it was always ahead of the curve on stuff. We're talking 15 years ago when I used it with the studios. And now as Allied Universal, nothing's changed. You guys are always ahead. Uh, I want you guys to make sure you come to booth 901 at GSX. That's where Allied Universal is going to be. Uh, today's topic, uh, something I think is really interesting because I did a lot of this at the studios. We're going to talk about customizing executive protection programs, how we mitigate risk using intelligence and analytics. You know, this is not your uh, grandfather's EP program anymore, is it, Brian? Everything's uh, kind of digitized and modernized and we need analytics. Uh, Tell us about what's going on in the uh, executive protection business. Well, I think uh, you know one of the one of the big things, of course, is the way we approach uh, our mission with uh, the concept of keeping people safe, happy, and productive. Um, so it's it's really about you know use, utilizing those best practices of safety and security and, and protecting an individual. Um, then when we talk about the customization, that's where the, the, the happy piece comes in. That's where you take those risk mitigation activities along with the culture of the organization, preferences of the principal um, to, to, to try to keep everybody satisfied with the approach of, of, the, of the program. But then the real return on investment comes from um, uh, productivity support, right? And that's where uh, an EP program a lot of the times focuses on uh, maintaining and optimizing the, the time, energy, and focus of a protected individual and therefore becoming a uh, element of the sustained performance of that individual. Um, so any, any kind of uh, activities that, that support those three things uh, are, are, are what we uh, aim to do with our mission and, and, and our approach to executive protection. Brian, so let's talk about your client base. It's changed, hasn't it? I mean, you know, back at the studios, movie stars, that was an obvious executive protection client. But nowadays, I just read a study from some IT friends of mine that uh, plain old fashioned CEOs really that aren't high profile are now being the subject of violent threats and attacks. The executive protection model has changed a little bit, hasn't it? Many more people are in this space and needing this service. Yeah, it's true. Uh, you know, looking back over the, the decades that uh, I've been involved in the business, uh, it used to be that uh, executive protection was a fifth or sixth order discussion. Um, and nowadays for, you know, e even the Fortune 1000 uh, on the Fortune 500, um, folks are, are asking about executive protection earlier on in their uh, corporate security discussions. Um, and it, it, you know, it has a lot to do with the, um, the access and, and the, the, the prominence of more and more CEOs uh, based on social media um, and, and different activities uh, that that um, uh, give more access to the CEOs. Now, I don't know how to, I'm not going to phrase this properly, but I think you'll get the idea. Isn't executive protection also now using the analytics part? Isn't it also kind of about protecting basic employees? Because the analysis you do for your executive nowadays really has to trickle down to the employee base. Maybe they're not the individual target of a threat but the company might be the target of a threat, right? Tell us how your analytics works to make everybody safe in this space, really. Right, and, and that's utilizing a number of different uh, platforms on the protective intelligence side uh, to, to really identify, um, the, especially open source, um, social media, deep and dark web uh, searching, uh, basically uh, the the continuation of a physical RTVA going into the open source uh, social media and deep and dark web to identify uh, vulnerabilities, not just for uh, necessarily the CEO, but for other employees. And then you also have the uh, globalization 
uh, and travel to uh, different uh, uh, risk level countries and making sure that uh, a company is actually doing their duty of care to identify what the uh, risks are to the traveling employees and, and, and providing the, the uh, proper uh, resources and support uh, to, to keep them safe, happy, and productive. Tell me about the background of your team members. Uh, has that model changed? I mean, we used to be taking people from police or military, but nowadays uh, there's a lot of academic people coming up that study these sort of things in college, and, and I find those people are also uh, super valuable in the security industry. Tell us about that, uh, that team member base. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there, there is, there is a, a, a diversification happening. Um, uh, military, law enforcement, still a great pool, uh, pools of, uh, of talent. Um, but now more and more on the EP and the intelligence uh, analysis side, you're getting folks that are, um, that don't have military or law enforcement background, but they have this specific training. Um, like you mentioned, uh, specifically for Intel analysts, um, there are now colleges and universities that provide degrees in intelligence analysis. So we're, we're starting to see a mix of, uh, uh, more of a mix uh, between military, law enforcement, and uh, straight private sector. So we got about a minute left. Uh, what does Brian Jansen worry about for 2022? 2021, we got enough things to worry about, but anything coming up in the EP world that uh, maybe your client should start thinking about and planning? Well, there, there's a lot. Um, the, uh, the first one is quality control, quality assurance. Um, you know, we have three priorities that, that we follow uh, uh, very closely that are super important to us. Uh, quality engagement, quality control, and innovation. Um, so quality engagement being uh, with both our employees and our clients, um, and, and, and then utilizing best practices in quality assurance and implementing those across uh, all programs. Um, so those are, those are kind of the, the three priorities that, that keep me up at night is how do we make sure, and there's a lot to unpack in those three words or those three phrases, but um, how do we ensure that everything that we're doing relates back to uh, one or more of those priorities? Good stuff, my friend. Brian Jensen, he's the Executive Vice President, Allied Universal, Executive Protection Division. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not going to see you at GSX this year, but hopefully next year. And uh, good luck to you, my friend. Always good stuff from Allied Universal. Great. Thank you very much. And again, appreciate it, Chuck, and everything that you do. Thank you for everything. Oh, thank you. And don't forget Booth 901. Don't forget, go to Booth 901. 901. Right? That's right, 901. All right. Yeah. Thanks, my friend. Look forward to Talk seeing to everybody you. there.